Good morning, guys. Good morning, friends. Good morning, fans. Last day of the course. Anyway, <laughs> I bet you're not used to seeing me in a car. Uh, I forgot my fucking headphones. Sorry for that. So if there's any hearing problems, it's very temporary. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I, let me know if it's okay that I start these videos with always with like a small tangent, because I know some people are like very um, kind of very protective of their time, so they don't like it when you know there's like let's say a video about something, and then you kind of talk about something else for a minute or two. Uh, if that's okay, tell me. If not. Um, probably gonna keep doing it anyway, so just get used to skipping like two minutes ahead. Um, anyway, I wanted to tell you that when you are committed to your habits, to your daily consistent goals, and I talked previously ad nauseum about how to get committed, how to build the right goals, how to gleam the right habits from them, how to stay consistent, you know, yada yada. Like, I pretty much, you know, told you all I can about it and I keep saying more. Uh, so, one of the benefits is that when you're committed uh, and you're on that journey where you have the, the habits as your anchor factor, as this constant thing in your life that's that takes high higher priority than anything else. Again, it doesn't matter people, events, your habits are number one. In that case, um, you get a very, very solid protection mechanism from negativity and doubt. But we'll talk about negativity in this aspect. What I mean by that is you often encounter people um, unintentionally that are fucking negative bastards. People, I'm not talking about the the naysayers. I'm not talking about your mom who's like, yeah, you know, I'm not sure if you should be going after that. You know, your goals are too big. You know, or that guy who's like, hey man, you know, you work too hard. I'm not talking about these guys, you know, the the naysayers, the people that kind of trying to, I know sometimes unintentionally, but trying to hold you down, hold you back. That's not the problem. I'm talking about the, the people that fucking hate the negative pieces of shit. Just people who spew negativity, who, who make you feel that uh, like in the gut, like you want to kill someone. These people could so easily, in, in, in cases where you don't have these constant habits, could so, so easily derail you and, and, and destroy everything you've built. And you've probably had that happen where maybe you are less aware than today. Maybe you still even are not aware right now. Uh, to the extent of noticing that one day you've had a goal, you've had something you've been working towards and working hard, but then you got into this big negativity thing and you just remember being very negative, feeling like angry and, and or, or just sad or negative, just fuck, I hate this so fucking much. You know what? Fuck it. I'm not going to do it today. Bam. Cycle of uh, failure begins and you find yourself weeks, months, years later in the same place. Maybe even falling back a bit. And you don't know why it happened. So I'll tell you why it happened. Somebody affected you. You're a, 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 an amazing, infinite being. You do not get burnt out. You do not lose too much energy. Like I told you, you just write down your goals, 
bam, you're back on it. But you're also like a sponge. And when you talk to somebody with a strong negative vibe, sometimes it's very direct. Sometimes, I mean, it's attacking you. And sometimes it's just in the air and you kind of hang around with that person too long their negativity is going to rub off on you. You're going to have to kind of release it because this person is a negativity generator. So when you begin to become aware of your mental state and the reason you become aware of it is because you want to keep doing the habits and you know that if you get negative, you're going to fail. So you become a very strong guardian of your time and space you don't let just anybody talk to you and if they have a negative vibe you might not t- you might not tell them like hey fuck off but you are going to um, stay away from them because uh, they're gonna fuck up your consistency which is gonna fuck up your dreams it's not gonna fuck them up it's just gonna make them unattainable and um, yeah really really be be careful of that so when you're cons- have these consistent goals that you're committed to uh, the odds of that happening are much much uh, smaller because you're gonna be paying attention all the time to your goals my daily 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 goals so the odds of um, of you kind of losing attention and falling in the wrong crowd, talking to the wrong people are um, much lower, almost none. And even if you do end up talking to these wrong people, uh, you're gonna usually bounce back. It's gonna feel like shit, but then you're gonna bounce back. So I hope it makes sense why it's so important to be committed to goals. Again, it gives you a a framework where you can um, make decisions based on something. And the past times when you went after goals, it was more like an emotional thing. It was like, uh, yeah, let's go after this goal. I think, you know, it looks amazing. You know, maybe we were inspired, but there wasn't any consistent framework of habits and realizing that it's all about, you know, infinite amount of, small progression over time and that's what's going to get you the success and when you do realize that and you work towards your goals in the habits manner you're going to be extremely protective of your time and you're not going to let anyone fuck with your mental emotional well-being so you're you get an antivirus of negativity so i hope this video makes sense uh let me know if you have any questions about negativity because this is a really hard topic because there's so many negative people and so different uh, types of negative people and um, see you soon